April 3rd, four days and 17 hours of the great eclipse. I've been doing some study on the symbolism of the cube and the stories from the book of Revelation. And other religions with the cube. So there's a lot of reference to the cube in ancient history. Now, if we had the Spitzler Space Telescope in action, it would show us the magnetic line. This is the magnetic line that I refer to. But since they retired it for, for budget purposes, we can't get a clear, clear picture. And we got all these, all these assets, got the Webb Telescope, the Hubble, all these observatories, gigantic observatories, and we can't get no images from any of these people to give us a close up. Don't tell me they're studying some quasar, some galaxy far, far, far away more important i mean we used to get comet image from these people before still a blackout and they're not even updating the data i mean can you imagine if we had one of these big boys give us a close-up but you know and i know it'll be censored there's something there that they don't want us to see so we're depending on the amateur astronomers if it wasn't for the amateurs astronomers with these images now can you imagine if we had the big boys taking images imagine we're, we're getting images beautiful images from these guys and god bless them but imagine if we had the big ones the close-up never had never seen this before never this never happened before so what are they going to be doing on the eighth at cern and i hear there's six locations of cern not only geneva but apparently there's five other locations if anybody knows where the other five locations are at studying purdue university over there in indiana it's involved with this cern so i'm just wondering this in the path I wonder if they have any gadgets that's going to support the big cern Just to throw that in there. As you can see, it fits perfect. Fits perfect. 